Amazon cheapy alert. I packed up a fragrance by Ministry of Oud called Amber Oud for $39.99 on Amazon. Just seemed kind of interesting. Apparently it's under the Paris Corner fragrance line, which seems to have a lot of clone fragrances or a lot of individual fragrances that are really popular for the budget, kind of in that same Latafa or Moff space. So let's check out if Ministry of Oud, Amber Oud is any good for 40 bucks. So let's roll my motherfucking music to see if we've discovered a nice little cheapy off the Amazon Prime skis. <laughs> Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. Let's open this joint up. I need more cheapies in my life. Guys, leave it in the comments below. Yo, Coops, this is the absolute best cheapie I've ever experienced in my life and tell me how much it is in the comments. And then if I don't got it or I haven't smelled it, I will gladly pick that bitch up because I love a good cheapy fragrance. Not everybody wants to spend the grip on bread. This looks pretty decent. Nice presentation, nothing too crazy. Nice thick bottle. It's got some sharp ass edges though. I'm not gonna hold you. This is a, uh, you'll fuck somebody up. This, this corn is a little aggressively sharp. Very nice presentation, $39.99 can't go wrong, right? I did manage to find the notes. Hold on, let me pull these puppies up for you because one of the notes is very interesting. So the notes are listed as lemon, lime, bergamot, rose de my fig, mm. jasmine, ylang ylang, cinnamon, sandalwood, oud, benzoin, saffron, ambergris, oak moss, orris, birch, musk, patchouli. Now how accurate are those notes? I have no idea, but let's just jump right into fragrance and see if this joint is lit or if it's straight gaga. I'm getting a lot more rose than anything. I'm getting a slight essence of fig coming through, which is becoming a little bit more of a sweet earthiness kind of vibe, but that rose de my, if that in fact is what's in here, is a little bit too like forward. It's screaming that rose oud combination with a dirty soil kind of smell to it. That sweetness from that soil or that fig note kind of reduced quite quickly. It's not a linear fragrance for sure, but it's very rose prominent, at least off the test strip. Yeah, it's definitely starting to switch up a little bit, but it's all floral forward, which is not something that really drives me crazy because it seems to be rose, ylang ylang, and that jasmine seems to be really the heavy hitters with some soily essence behind it. It smells like a fucking garden. Like I'm getting a little bit more of the oud coming up now. I'm gonna try this on skin just to see what's up because it really feels like it's just floral, 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 slight oud floral. It doesn't really scream anything else. It's just too floral forward, especially on that rose aspect. And the rose on this one does feel slightly geriatric on the test strip. Let's see on skin. Mm, yeah, it's very soil floral. The oud here is just a little bit too synthetic for my liking. I don't know. Something about it is throwing me off. I'm trying to look at the notes right now and see what it is because it's really based on this breakdown. What I'm personally getting is synthetic rose, ylang ylang, jasmine, oud, and then some of that birch and musk. Mm, mm, I don't know. Something about it just doesn't really do anything for me. It's not bad, but it's not great either. It's 40 bucks, but I, even that I think is a little bit too much for this scent. It, it, for me, it's not doing anything for me. It's not moving me. It's really not giving me any kind of energy that I'm looking for. It's just too plasticky, rubbery, synthetic, just kind of cheap trying to be expensive, which I mean, it clearly is, but this one smells like it. It's one thing that you're being cheap and trying to be expensive, that's fine. But this one smells like it's cheap. It, it does smell kind of shitty. Yeah, no, this is not a ball sprayer for me, unfortunately. Ministry of Oud from Amazon, that's Paris Corner Joint. This for me, unfortunately, is not a ball sprayer. Waste of money, not gonna make it long. For me, it don't hit. It smells very synthetic-y, plastic -y, and floral. Yeah, I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Anything from this brand or Paris Corner that's absolutely lit, leave in the comments below. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what is biggest in the game. Smooches. Fresh, who's best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Tell
fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>